Hello, I'm Dan Scott. I am an attorney who does estate and probate work. And this is video number three in a, in a series of videos about conservatorships. On the first one, I told you about the appointment of a conservatorship. The second one, I told you about the why, why it is that we would seek the appointment of a conservator. Today, I'm going to talk with you about how you go about getting a conservator appointed. In order to appoint a conservator, there must be a medical affidavit filed by a doctor who has examined the ward. The person that needs a conservator is referred to as the ward. So a doctor is going to have to sign an affidavit. It's very specific and it's going to say that they've examined them when they examined them. And it's going to say they either, they cannot care for themselves, uh, their body. Um, they can't make their own medical decisions, those sorts of things or it's gonna say that they can't handle their own financial affairs. It might say both. Uh, one doctor would make an opinion about that. So that's the expert proof. The second thing you're gonna file with your petition to appoint a conservator is you're gonna file your affidavit, that is the person seeking the appointment, and you're gonna say the same thing as the doctor said, only you're not a medical doctor, but most likely you're a family member. The whole idea is you're demonstrating to the court that there is a need for a conservator. The paperwork is going to get served on the ward, right? Because they've got a right to be heard. They've got a right to come in and say, no, I don't need a conservator. No, they're out after my money. No, they're, they're trying to make my own health care decisions. I want to make them myself. So they've always got the right to be heard. Once the court hears your proof, the court's going to decide, yes, there is a need for conservator and you're the one, or the court's going to say, uh, there's a need for the conservator, but you're not that person or the court's gonna say there's no need for a conservator. So that's how you get a conservator appointed. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you're watching us on YouTube, would you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? Sure would appreciate that. Like us on Facebook. And if you know somebody that might need this type of information, sure would appreciate you sharing it with them and they will appreciate it as well. Watch out for the next video on conservatorships that'll be coming real soon. Thanks for watching.